Happy 2020. 2020. <laughs> Happy New Year! It is the first edition of Text to Discuss this decade, even mm-hmm. though I'm of the opinion that the decade actually ends this year and it mm. did not end last year. Okay, that makes I think it ends and starts this year. That makes sense. 2010. complex. Oh. So we'll just go for a new year. year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fantastic. And so this year, we're starting off with a few things that transformed how we use mobile applications last year and some of the mobile apps that also were uh, the best performing in one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Which apps did you download the most? Which did you use the most? Etc. We'll be doing all of that on this first episode of Tech 3 Discuss in the year 2020. My name is Delarose Okoji. I'm Shaliwa Williams. Welcome to Tech City. Um, I mean, the last decade was a pretty exciting one for mobile applications and maybe even Nigeria in particular. Um, while we were heavy users of certain social media platforms, Mm -hmm. it was surprising to see that some of these apps were not the maybe most downloaded, regardless Mm -hmm. of the activity Mm -hmm. that, um, you know, Nigerians were up to on those apps. Let's not also forget that in the last decade, Mark Zuckerberg, the chief CEO, the Oga Kata Kata, they were at the top. A Facebook visited mm-hmm. Nigeria, mm-hmm. and so did Jack Dorsey of Twitter yes. just last year as well. So that was pretty exciting. Very. But did any of that have an impact or an effect on how their apps performed uh, on Google Play Store mm-hmm. and on iOS in any way? Well, it's interesting that um, those two people have come to Nigeria because looking at the most downloaded apps of the decade, Mark Zuckerberg holds the top four spots. That's number one to four, and then Twitter is at the bottom, number ten. So that's actually pol- uh, polar <laughs> opposites. But I mean, when I was thinking about why Facebook holds the st- um, top four spots, um, is because um, Facebook has apps that deal with communication and, and messaging media. and calling. People want to connect with one another. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In fact, the top apps are you know Snapchat, Skype. All of them have to do with messaging and calling. And then I think Mark Zuckerberg also has a knack for. Um, buying up apps yeah. that look prospective. Mm-hmm. So he bought up Instagram, he bought What's up up? WhatsApp. Um, what else again? Funny, Facebook Messenger also mm. was at the top. Number two, second spot. Do you use Facebook Messenger? I don't, but, do I. but you know what I've learned? I mean, even judging by the whole thing, I think whenever we think of um, apps that we use, I don't know, for a lot of younger people, younger generation people, mm. Facebook is not there. But not. I think of our parents yeah, generation. and extended family members. True, so, true. I mean, I think those people are really big on the Maybe app. the less tech savvy, who, honestly speaking, are the majority, mm. sort of, right? They may yes. not be as savvy as we are. Mm-hmm. They may not be as tech forward as we mm-hmm. are. But they are using these things anyway. Mm-hmm. And they are joining these apps in mm-hmm. their droves. Let's not forget WhatsApp as well. What yes. number did WhatsApp come? Num- and WhatsApp is number three on the list. So it's Facebook, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Hey. A combined download of 16 billion downloads. One person. That's all That's Mark Zuckerberg, right. y'all. That's all him. I mean, I, I guess I'm pretty excited for him in, in mm-hmm. some way, um, particularly when you look at the fact that I think it was towards the end of last year when you launched some of these applications, you would see blah, blah, by Facebook. So mm. WhatsApp by Facebook, you would see that. Instagram by yes. Facebook, yes. you know, became a thing. And I think for some people who did not exactly know mm. that Mark Zuckerberg or, quote, unquote, Facebook owned these apps, mm. it was a way of communicating to them that, you know, these apps were really owned yes. by him anyway. Yes. I thought that was very interesting on the branding perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, like, the takeaways, if, if we were to ask why did Facebook come in those top four spots, mm-hmm. I think number one, like you mentioned, Facebook has a lot of apps that are user-friendly. Yeah. You know, for WhatsApp or Facebook, you just go and like, comment, share pictures. That's for it. Twitter, it's a different, you can't even edit on Twitter. So <laughs> I don't think our parents even like it that much. Yeah. Another thing is um, data consumption. Yeah. So if you remember, Facebook launched Facebook Lights. Lights yeah. There were reports that in 2016, um, Mark Zuckerberg also wanted to buy, Facebook rather, wanted to buy um, TikTok. You know, which is musically. And TikTok yeah. ranks number seven on the list. That's interesting. I and the most TikTok, downloaded app of 2019. I so. think TikTok, um, there's no way TikTok would have made it to that list, I think, in one way, mm. if they did not include the data from when it was Musical. still called Musical.ly. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, I don't know, maybe it was a good decision by them. I don't know. Mm. Um, but of course, last year, and I think we're having this conversation mm. you know, behind the camera, their marketing budget for last year was out of it this was, world. It was, they were advertising everywhere mm. on the streets of Lagos. TikTok was advertising when you 
on literally every on, app, other, on, on YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> everywhere. TikTok was everywhere. Yeah. And I think that also contributes to um, why it's become, um, of course, the most unlit app last year. Mm -hmm. And I think also because they had personal relationships with content creators, which was yes. your most used app for last year, or if you could just say in the last decade. In the last decade, it would be Facebook. Ooh, really? Yes, yes. Because the last decade is 2010. That's when Facebook was really popping and yeah. everything. And, and then I, I, I had just sort of just graduated at the time mm -hmm. so uh, trying to keep in touch with friends and family and all but i think in the last year it's been twitter right i mean twitter has been trending <laughs> too many trends on twitter for you not to be on the app true, so true. I, mean, I think for me it's going to be twitter mm. more more twitter um i left school secondary school over a decade ago mm. and even after i left university i wasn't that active on on facebook mm. um but twitter definitely i think i joined twitter 20 2010, <laughs> a whole decade, mm, jeez, whole decade wow. <laughs> so yeah, Twitter definitely is my most used app for the last decade. Mm. Um, Instagram may have been my most used app last year. Mm. Um, but yeah, really, really exciting. Definitely. I feel sad about the fact that Snapchat did mm. not do well in the last decade. They had so many well, prospects. Well, they came in, the top five came in fifth, you know. Yeah, number five. Yes, number five. Oh, right. oh okay, five okay. We stopped at down. number four. four Instagram, yes. okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not bad actually. Not bad. When you look at how Instagram fought Snapchat with mm -hmm. the filters, all they, the features that they also mm -hmm. included, they they put up a very good fight to come mm -hmm. at number five. Yes. Cool stuff. So number ten is Twitter. Yes. Number nine Surprising. is YouTube. Number eight is UC, UC browser. browser. I think that's obvious because again, when you, when you look at maybe parts of the world where internet is still slightly expensive, mm. that's why you know, we have this kind of data, yes. you know. Number seven, TikTok. Number six, Skype. Five, Snapchat. Instagram, WhatsApp. Facebook Messenger. Messenger and, and of Facebook. course, yeah, their daddy. <laughs> but then if you could just Thank do you. a little prediction. I mean, this is a decade. Do you think, what do you think would shape the next decade. I mean, mm -hmm. human interaction, communication, mm -hmm. the need for people to even see each other because a lot of yeah. video apps, you yeah, know, yeah. rank it. So it shows that people really want to communicate. And mm -hmm. what do you think would shape the next I think 10 that decade? Instagram, I think, will be, you know, I think it will still remain up there. I somehow I think also, some of these apps will fall off. Maybe I, I, we'll be able to communicate, touch people's palms when you're doing mm, Skype, like feel. I don't want to. Like, I, 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 I'm, not that, movies. I'm not that enthusiastic, really. Yeah. But I also think that when you look at perhaps how Mark Zuckerberg has equally handled all these, you know, apps that he's owned or bought over at some mm. point, um, I think that there will be a lot of features, a lot mm. more updates. WhatsApp was just messaging. Mm. You know, now it's gone to calling, video mm. calling, mm. group, you know, stuff as well. So I, I think I see a lot more updates happening. Mm. Um, maybe for content creators as well, there will be a lot more applications that uh, will come up to help them share their content much, easy, mm. much easier, rather. Mm. And uh, maybe also for payment. Because uh, I find that, to a very large extent, the success of a lot of some of these applications, maybe not a lot of them, is the content that's on them, that's mm. driving people to use them. So maybe mm. there will be a lot more applications that would have direct relationship with content creators mm. and also a payment plan like YouTube, for instance. Maybe mm. a much a much straightforward payment plan mm. for the content that they're creating. Yeah, I, th I think so. It makes a lot of sense from the content creator perspective mm -hmm. because if, when we're looking at the top downloads, most of the apps that people are downloading are free. So yeah. nobody wants to pay for it. Indeed. Interestingly, there's another there's another list that um, top 10 apps by all time consumers spend. Netflix is at the top of it. Hey. Followed by Tinder, the dating I mean, app. Of course, so like so Netflix. people want entertainment, communication. Yes. Yeah, we're not seeing LinkedIn and media. People be looking, but they say there's no work. Is that? I mean, maybe this no, is like feedback for these apps. No, but I'm just saying people want is is clear it's what people want. Entertainment, entertainment, really. communication, laughter. Really. Well, you never really know. I mean, look, LinkedIn has stood the test of time. If we're being mm. honest. It may not be the most downloaded app of all time, or anything mm. like that, but it definitely serves a purpose. Anyway, which was your most used app in the last decade and the last year? Comment mm. down below. Let's know all about it. And yes. which apps do you think will stand the test of time, maybe for the next decade? And what predictions do you have for how apps will fare, both on Google Play Store, iOS, and maybe even your life as a person? <laughs> which do you think you're going to drop at some point and be like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Instagram is just eating up my data. And you know what? I'm done with this relationship. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably comment um, on what apps they are deleting this yeah. year and mm -hmm. what apps are staying. I think Absolutely. That's, that's a nice one. Please do so in the comment section. We would love to read from you and respond to all your messages. Also, do not forget to wish us a happy new year in the comments as well. And subscribe to the channel. Please. And yeah. follow us everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. 
I text it to NG. That's right. We'll always be there. <laughs> so we come your way again next time on Text the Discuss. I'm Villarosa Koji. And I'm Shaliwa Williams. Goodbye. Happy New